I, I'm, I'm in the only profession there is no school for. You can't go to school for comedy. There's nothing. Nothing available for comedy. You're either born this way or you're not. But you could go take lessons. And then, you know, you just got to get around the scene out here. It's hard. It takes a long Young people, you just got to understand. It takes a long time to make a lot of money. Quit thinking you finna just hit it. That's not how this works. It takes a long time to make a lot of money. I just got this money summer for last. <laughs> I'm 61 years old. I just got this money summer for last. Took me a long time, man. But there's joy in the process, too. See, you got to enjoy the process. You got you to be grateful when you're making 50000 Then you got to be grateful when you get to 75000 You got to be grateful at 80000 A lot of people stay pissed off because they ain't a millionaire. But I got news for you. If you pissed off where you are right now, you'll never be a millionaire. You want me to tell you why? Because there is a principle of success that God requires our gratitude. The more you're grateful for, the more God will give you to be grateful for. Because, see, God, he real smart. He got this system set up real smart. So you can immediately increase your life by being grateful. Instead of complaining about what's going on. Man, I got to go to work today. Man, I got these kids. See, you asked for all this shit, though. Remember when you wanted a job? Remember when you wanted a baby? Remember when you wanted to get the new car? Well, the new car come with some bills. Well, remember when you wanted to get you a bigger place? You got the bigger place? It costs more money. You know what I learned? You can't cry about what's on your plate when your whole goal was to eat. You can't, man. And if you, the moment you start showing God more gratitude, he'll give you more stuff because he's such a fair God. You know, what he do is he's not going to keep giving you stuff if what you got you can't handle already. So he ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. So why are you tripping about all you got to do? He said, well, let me quit giving him stuff to do because he already can't handle this here. You kill more blessings by not being grateful. That's the number one blessing blocker, lack of gratitude. That's the number one reason I have what I have, and that's the number one reason why I'm going to get more, because I just stay grateful for what I have. And I'm busy, man, but I, over, over last year I was complaining a lot, and I couldn't understand why these few deals wasn't closing. I was on vacation this year, I was sitting on the boat, I was looking out over the water, and, and, and God just, he just showed it to me. He said, well, Steve, you've been complaining a lot about your workload, about how much you got. I can't give you no more because I don't want to, I don't want to tax you. I don't want to overburden you. I came back, told my wife that. We, we finished up the vacation, I came back. I changed everything. I wake up every morning with nothing but gratitude and I became more efficient. And I'm telling you right now, two of them deals, I signed one yesterday. Because I figured it out. The cool thing about it is, it don't take God a long time to bless you. He starts immediately, man. I, I, listen to me, y'all. Wake up every day and start being grateful. Wake up every day. Don't, don't check your phone first. Don't check your texts and messages. Wake up every morning and just start thanking him for just your life, your kids, your job, your house, your food, your clothes, your money, your car, your husband, your boyfriend. And then immediately after that, you'll have a better day. And then watch, he start giving you more stuff. It's really not a magic trick to getting rich, man. You just have to learn the principles of success.